Hey guys, we back again with another video. We are here today of my shop. But we cannot say shop, but it's like a small garage. We're gonna be working today. So the thing is, we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to make this SI turbo. We got some airbox on them all the way around. And you guys see the car is really nice and clean, you know. So you guys can see the car is a 2008 model SI. And um, so he already went all the way with the airbox and everything. And uh, huh? yeah, and then we're gonna show you guys what's what's going on with the car so far. He has some updates and everything, but I'm gonna show you the interior and everything. It's nice and tight, you know. Got bright. Uh, I don't know what the name of them, but you guys figure it out, you know. Got all the way around. The interior is really clean. The car has some miles on it, but it's not that bad. But yeah, definitely the car is worth it to get it boosted. So we're going to do that today. Not today, but we're going to take a while. So fuck it. We're going to try to get it as soon as possible. Trying to make 400 to 500 wheel horsepower. And of course, the car is a stance car. It's not a race car, but he wants a little bit. go ahead and put the car inside and uh, so I'm gonna go through everything what we got to do this car turbo and then uh, so you guys can see right now we got everything laying it out on the floor so um, I don't know how I'm gonna start it but like I said is this is a sh uh, this is a um, budget built turbo it's not like fancy work but uh, it's still gonna work you know we're trying to make a little bit of power in the SI you guys saw the shell the shells in nice condition really nice and clean airbox suspension and all that stuff you know actually he got two of them but the other one is kind of kind of fucked up but it's still looking really nice so so far we got all the inner cooler piping that's uh i'm gonna be fabbing all the inner cooler custom inner cooler to fit right in this car and then we got ourselves a nice brand new 1320 performance turbo manifold i believe this is a t3 t4 same as i have over here in mine and uh so we we got ahead and he go, he went ahead and get one of those two because they're nice cheap and still in good condition and then we got a the choo shoe here it's uh i think it is a 6258 um ebay turbo what what we're looking for so and then uh, we got the the um fuel rail nice and brand new and then we got all the fittings, hoses, and everything, pressure regulator, hoses. We're gonna do, we're gonna be making a fuel system for it. Got all the return feed line fittings for the turbo feed. And then uh, he went ahead and get another turbo body because the one he got right now, it's not gonna work. So, and then we got a blow valve and tail gate. So we're gonna find out what we're what we gonna do with these parts and we're gonna start taking apart everything that we don't need so uh i already go ahead and uh, remove the throttle body and uh remove that all the injectors and the fuel rail and all that stuff and then uh, i'm just trying to figure out about the harness because all these plastic stuff is not gonna let me put let me put the turbo on there you know still gotta remove all these brackets and these like i said these plastic stuff so i'm gonna retape the whole harness from here because there's a lot of plastic and then these all these plastic don't will let me fit the car how it should be so i'm gonna see now me right now trying to get the exhaust out so we we got the headers out i'm trying to feed the turbo manifold back there i don't know if we're gonna have a lot of space or not but we're gonna find we out. already go ahead and um try to take all the part all the parts that we don't we're not going to use but we run to an issue already 
um, we got this issue right now that the water neck thing from the head is hitting on the on that wave kit back there and I'm gonna show you why because um, you know the K20s K20Z3 and K24 normally they come with the water neck in the side not in the front so the thing is these ones the factory one is kind of thick and big and then the the return or the feed line from the from the heater cord is really long so it's going to be in the way for the waste not going to be able to put it on like that you know so what we're going to do is now what we're going to do is we're going to order a K21 so the K21s are more like more flat you know more more um um, it's not that thick so it's gonna be able to run all the way down there and with no issues so we're gonna wait on that we're gonna order today so we can be can be there here in probably a few days and the other issue that I they know I that um that this this toro body uh fit on it i know they fit on it but um uh these ones come with uh they, they run with the with the cables but the other one run with the wires so we got the wrong one but we still we still can we can reuse this one you know uh i'm not just gonna keep it for mine fuck it you know and then he's gonna order a, it's gonna work one. like that so we are stuck again um and then i just put the turbo and the manifold together and see what we deal with it you know space in here because this is a oa si model and they they really hard to work on it because of the firewall stuff and all that but um we're gonna figure it out you know it's not a big deal we just need to get the right parts to make it work so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take it apart again we're not gonna take the turbo manifold off and everything we're gonna give a nice wash in the engine because it's kind of dirty you guys see all around it's really dirty so we're gonna power wash it a little bit and then get the grease on it so it will be clean so um so I'm over here right now trying to get this figured out like I said before it's some stuff that I'm, doesn't fit right because this is this is a, like the eBay turbo kit that um the like, more cheaper stuff we can get you know for make this happen, but um we order stuff that we probably we're gonna use you know all the stuff we're gonna use but um like I was telling you guys about the water neck is hitting on that wastegate return, and uh, so that's one of the I already things. figured it out you know we're gonna get another. K2, we're gonna get a K2 uh, water neck, whatever it's called, the one from over here. And then um, we got the Rona throttle body, but it's still good, you know. Like I said, it's, we're gonna get another one. We are gonna get another one Go ahead, and uh, install the fuel rail and everything. And uh, here's the fit line where the gasoline is gonna go through. And then I'm gonna make the return right here. And uh, we got a pressure regulator. That's probably is gonna be sitting right here. I'm not going to delete this one. Um, I don't think we're gonna use it because this is just air go that through. Brush regulator straight to the fuel rail and get in there, you know, nice and tight. So you guys get an idea. And, um, but yeah, the turbo is gonna be sitting somewhere around here. It's not all the way tight. Still gotta push a little bit forward or just tight the bolts and everything. But you guys get the idea. I got me this um, LED light. It's pretty good. good. Um, the feet line from the pressure, the pressure sensor, sensor pressure, whatever. But you got, you get me the idea, you know. And then run it to over here in the feet line. I haven't put the feet in on it yet. But yeah, so I still got a, a lot of stuff to do. Um, the only thing I got to do is um, got to clean the wire. The harness, the harness from the engine. I'm trying to get all this plastic out because it's kind of hard. And we're going to see if we can re relocate the body in the back or somewhere around in the front. But we're going to see until we get into that point. But um, from now on, so I hope you guys like this video. And and then, of course, this is not a like regular job. You know, this is more like performance. And you got to just work with it, you know, trying to get all the parts and figure out how you're going to install them and trying to custom them or whatever so but that's it for today guys i hope you like this video it's kind of short and i talked too much already and i've been talking the whole time but i mean i'm trying to explain you guys what is going on with it and then this is a new product card this is new for me i had never had done an si and then it's kind of the same like a rather sex but this is a whole different game because he's not going engine bay nothing like that so it's really hard to work with all the accessories the car come with it and then
So I'm gonna figure it out. And so I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys. Stay in the tuned. Time. There's a lot of more stuff coming up, and I got a big surprise. And I will show you guys in the next video probably. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.